Hey guys, I hope you had a really good weekend. And today we're gonna talk about aliens. No, not the new ones. Although, Aliens vs. Predator, I did come out a couple years ago. However, I was pleasantly surprised by it. But, we talk about the first one, the OG, the one to start all. Call it that her backstory from a mechanic to this badass lady who defeats aliens for this sick like damn. Basically, it's about this group of people. dogs grow up fast like oh he was three months old <laughs> and now he's like a year oh no they grow super fucking fast they grow like wheat it is insane how much they grow in short amount of time basically i'm pretty sure ripley is like this mechanic and she's with mostly guys 90 i think yeah she's the one female I have the whole group, which I group with guys, so I wouldn't really mind it. I mean, she, she's not some, like, prissy lady, like, I mean, you know, like, I know, yeah, she's not some, like, prissy lady who, if she chips a nail, she'll cry or something. Oh, no, she is tough as shit. She can keep up with the guys, and she has this really nice short hair. I mean, it doesn't really have to do anything. There's people with long hair. Girls with long hair are badass, but she has... Short hair, like, well, not like I do. Hers looks a lot 
Hers looks a lot better on her, and we have a different style. But hers is on point. She is just, yeah, definitely, yeah, more... She's pretty tough, even in the beginning. And I guess, I guess no one really paid attention to her. I mean, they did, but at the same time, maybe she's underestimated. I mean, it just is how it is. I'm not going to be, like, all fem Nazi, like, oh, me. <sighs> yes, I'm a girl, and I, I mean, I, okay, don't get me wrong. I'm all for gender equality. I'm a girl, and, but I do agree that there's, why am I getting to this? Man, I'm going to get so much comments about this. Well, probably not, but maybe. But yeah, I mean, I like feminists who actually preach equality and not just having women being, like, having more rights than men. I, I don't think it's cool. I mean, there is an exception. Not all women are like that. Obviously, I'm not. But there's, like, this small group. There's always, you know, like, there's a bunch of crazy liberals or conservatives, for instance. Like, they're, they're just a small group. I mean, not all of them are like that. It just, you know, like, there's always going to be, like, an exception, and there's fem Nazis who are the exception to actual, like, most people, most women, most men want gender, well, a good portion of men want gender equality as well, but there's few, there's, like, groups of people who will always, you know, just take it a little too far. So, yeah. Anyways, basically, shit goes down. Like, they get picked off one by one. Of course, this... Of course, Ripley's no Mary Sue. Like, she is actually struggling here. Like, come on. she It's not... She has to survive a freaking alien. Like, she... And she has a hard time being it. I mean, a bunch of grown-ass men aren't able to do it. Hell, I don't even fully understand how she managed to do that. Of course, the guys helped, you know, like... And, but at the same time, I can't imagine. I forgot how she killed it. I just remember being very impressive. Like, how can anyone take on something that big? Like, you just, you obviously can't face the head on. You've got, I mean, of course, the only thing is not entirely, not necessarily smart. It's not like the Predator. The Predators are fucking geniuses. But aliens are a little, the um, aliens are a little more dumbed down in the book. I mean, sorry, not the book, the movie. So basically, it just, I really like just the way the director went about this. Like, every character, I think every character contributed. Of course, there's, like, fights and stuff like that. And I just, it was incredibly riveting. Just... She knew get picked off one by one, all of them trying to survive. And then, of course, Ripley is the last one standing. And um, you think that she might have some relief after she gets rid of the alien and goes into Cairo sleep? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, she has, I think, one or two movies where she gets put through the same shit. Yep, that poor lady does not get a break, does she? Yep. And it just... That movie was just... Wow, I remember being so terrified of it. It was so masterfully done. I loved the character. I love just the way the director portrayed her. The way the screenwriters portrayed her. I might just really like it when, you know, both men and women work together. Because I feel like she worked together with them, of course, for survival. I mean, you're not going to... Like, when you're trying to survive, you don't really care. If, like, someone's killer and stuff like that. You know, you just... You're trying to survive, and you have to work together or else you're going to die. So, I just really like it when, like, my gender and then guys are able to just... Try survive together. I mean, whenever on the line, like your differences kind of don't really matter as much when your life's on the line, you're trying to fucking survive the situation. And it just, I just, I really like love the character. She's just this tough lady and you really like 
feel like you're with her as she's trying to survive all these guys and then like the fear she must have felt being, you know, the last standing person. I mean, that's not easy being the last standing character in a horror movie, male or female. It is tough. It is not an easy position to be in because obviously you're alone and you have to face this thing all by yourself. And you have to, of course, use your smarts. That's how she is able to defeat it because no one's able to face it like in a physical fist fist fight. No, you got to use your brain. You got to find ways out smart it. And that's how she's able to defeat it. And just, like I said, a person, a director, whoever, did a really good job in creating that character. Like she was one of the first in the line of bass women who actually went through struggles. I like it when every characters actually go through struggles and they face adversity no matter what. They're able to get through no matter how many challenges they go through, no matter if they want to give up. That's why I like about movies. Seeing the character struggle, seeing Ripley make her way through the space station, trying to avoid alien, like hiding, running, just figuring things out on the fly and trying not to get killed in the process. I mean, she had a lot of struggles. Like, that was, it was obviously not easy for her. It wasn't like, yeah, she went for a lot even before then. Hello, being in space and stuff and just, yeah, that has challenges to itself. I mean, it wasn't easy. Nothing was handed to her on a plate. She had to work hard. You know, she has to work hard at her job. I'm pretty sure that's how she was able to kill it because I think she was a mechanic and she was able to, like, she knew the shit pretty well. That comes in handy when you're facing off against alien thing that, that has no fucking idea what this shit, the mechanisms of a ship is. So that's, like I said, that's very, I like she knows a lot of things about the ship because she has to fix it. So that's how she just feeds them. She uses her skills. I like when a character uses their skills, their talents, and is able to defeat the big bad that way. I really, like I said, I really like it whenever characters go for a struggle where you feel like the character has possibly of dying, like, you know, you're just, they accidentally slip up and you think that they're going to get killed, but they, like, persevere through it. And that's why I really like it when movies have, you know, that spirit, that human spirit that no matter what, we all have the strength inside us. We all, I may think that we would give up in the situation, but there's something deep down inside of us. Sometimes it's not as deep as others. The will to survive, the will to face adversity. And I mean, we're very versatile beings. I mean, of course, there's a lot of, I mean, animals are probably definitely more versatile than us, but we have an inner strength. All of us have inner strength to us and sometimes it just is not happening. I mean, we're capable of terrible things, we're capable of good things, and it just nice to see a character just be relatable the situation. People could relate to Ripley. In a sense they can relate to uh male characters. It just it's nice having characters who uh, feel authentic and realistic. Like you can imagine yourself, oh yeah, I can imagine being in her place and being a mechanic or being one of the guys and like, you know, being, you know, captain, just being part of the exploration team even. Hell, that must have been scary just going out on a unknown area that they don't have a clue what's on it. And obviously if they knew that there was going to be life forms like the aliens, they would have not gone on it. So you can just relate to that and you know, especially if you, yeah, have been situations like that before where you're exploring something and you stumble across a dangerous thing. It's just, yeah, besides aliens and stuff, I think it's kind of realistic. Except for, of course, space exploration and sci-fi. Yeah. The plot holds up. It's a really good movie, guys. If you haven't seen it, I kind of spoil it, but it's so good. Uh, for you though, after like, after a certain point, obviously with 
series. The first few are good, but then, like, the rest, like, the ones they made, you know, recently, a couple years ago, they were okay, but they also never be able to create the magic and the... It was pretty unique. I mean, there's probably movies like that, but it was... For its time, it was pretty revolutionary. Like, it was one of the movies that ushered in, like, the female protagonist. I mean, there's other movies before it, but that was the one that really, like, stuck on people's minds. Like, when people think of badass female protagonists, Ripley is the one, is one of them that just pops into your mind. If you haven't seen the movie, you've probably heard people talking about Ripley or Aileen or just, like, Indiana Jones. It just... As iconic as that. It just really stands out. That's what I like in a movie. One just stands out. It's authentic. The characters are authentic. You can feel you can feel like you're right beside the character and bowing wherever you can really just yeah. Like I said, just the authentic authenticity. I'm gonna go. Sorry, I just got really excited. Yeah, this is really long, so like I said, adios and I'll see you guys on Friday. Bye.